Not, no offence to you or anything, it was just like shit. I really want to get rid of that. Is that, that's not going on there. Hi, my name's John. <laughs> Word, John. Oh yeah, um, I thought we could create a character mark, you know, because I'm always creating uh, um, characters. Okay. Boss man. Hi, my name's Derek Hood. Hood. Fuck. Come on in. This is my dog, Juniper. She'll be joining us today for the filming. Uh, yeah, so Don't go that. straight in onto my side. No, I know. Because that's my side. This is how it has to be, isn't it? This is the life of Apparently. <laughs> this is the life of a filmmaker. This is the life of a mediocre filmmaker. Clown. <laughs> a filmmaking clown. Watson, talk normally, like you normally do, loud and stupid. Probably talk like this, probably shouting over you. Telling people stuff about ting. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jeremy Pud, and let's welcome to this week's edition of Pud in the Hood. I'm here in Compton with my good friend Snoop Dodgy Dog. Dodgy Come on, Snoop. He's a rap musician. Whoa! Hello! Hello! And welcome to Dirty Shed Creations with Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it is. Oh, Very good. Right, get rid of that. Ah, well, nice to see you all again. Yes. Um, what is this then? It's a Q and A. It feels like a long time since we've done one, actually, doesn't it? It does. So, it has been quite a while. I think it was Christmas. Well, it was it? the Christmas special. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I mean, one thing that we're aware of is we haven't put out as much content of, as we would have liked to since Christmas, really. Yeah. So. Basically, this is to explain why that has happened, keep you informed and let you know what's coming up because we haven't just been sat on our backsides, we have actually been doing stuff. It's just not panned out. No, it hasn't. We've had like, what, nearly three projects that we've kind of, we've gone to the trouble of filming and then it's made us kind of question our existence in a manner of speaking, <laughs> hasn't it? And also kind of, you know, exactly what we are and it all went a bit crazy, let's put it that way. This thing's... Can I grab this? Go thing? on then. What is it? Ow! Oh, should we give that away? <laughs> That's a stray one. That <laughs> was, was it just. It was just. just that. <laughs> oh, right, just coming straight at you. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the other thing, you know. This, the beard, actually. You know, we're at a point where. Oh, you're jumping all over the place oh, okay. already, right? Yeah. So. Do the beard then. Do the beard, we'll do the beard first. What's about the beard? Well, when we did our Q&A when the throne was finished, um, I kind of made an almost throwaway comment that I wouldn't shave until we got a thousand subscribers. A thousand subscribers and then I'll shave. Perfect. Yeah. Next question. But not all over. <laughs> That was at about 260 subscribers, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, not a lot of people picked up on that, but the fact is I haven't had a haircut and or shave since that point. And actually, just recently, we've had um, kind of... It's been a bit of a roller coaster, really, hasn't it? There's been some real ups and some real downs, kind of... Um, yes. Yeah, so the whole point is, if we hit a thousand subscribers... Oh, right, he would shave the beard off. Yeah, and yeah, that's, that's it. I said that. And, yeah. We hit a thousand subscribers. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so, yeah. Thanks thank very you very much. much. But which is why, which leads back into the other thing about uh, the content that we created that we've just kind of scrapped. Yeah. So there's lots of things been going on, but we oh, tried wait, to Mark, mint mint. Whilst you're talking on air. Oh, yeah. Mint. Fresh breath for the thank YouTube you. Yeah, brethren. Yeah. 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 Should we let the dog in? You just interrupted me with your yeah. foolishness again. Come on, up here. This is, uh, the, this is the third member of uh, Dirty Shed, or yeah. fourth member. What were we talking about? We were talking about projects that we have filmed. So, yeah. back in almost start of January, we filmed an auction. <laughs> yeah, it's running. Hi, I'm Al from Dirty Shed Creations. You know, mate, mate. <laughs> I haven't had a coffee this morning. <laughs> Hi, I'm Al from Dirty Shed Creations. You may... <laughs> oh no, it's going to be one of those, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we were going to film this auction because Al had got a tip that there was going to be quite a lot of... Uh... What would you call it? Well, jewelry making? Jewelry, uh, essentially it was a jeweller's workshop that was getting sold through an auction house, is what I've been told. We got really good access to it. Um, it was amazing, but there were no jewellery machines no, there. It there turned was no into tools. an old chemist's It was an old chemist shop. Set up, and so it was a lot of glass bottles and uh, apothecary tables. And jars and, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it was just yeah. a bit random. 
It wasn't random, it was, just, it was, there was just so much of it. I've done some research on the meteorite, and it was SS Meteorite, and basically there's a photograph of it on the internet in 1896. So this lamp is a signalling lamp. Um, I don't know if they're rare or not, but it's a beautiful one and it's complete. So we are going to have a bid on that. Um, I'll just show you some of the kind of feet. I'll show you some of its features. It's not all a loss though, so what we have got is we've got a crazy, and I think we filmed it earlier, we've got one of these kind of patent medicine machines here. Essentially these are an opportunity to electrocute yourself, so you turn this handle here and they kind of generate, you know, the whole thing at the moment is a little bit kind of, it, it, it needs some work doing to it, but essentially you turn this, you've got two leads that come out that attach to these, you hold these in your hand, and then they cure all your nervous diseases. So at Dirty Shed, we've got quite a few nervous diseases and it'll be quite interesting to put this to the test and maybe do a review, a modern review of this machine. We'll renovate, we'll get it working and then we'll have some fun electrocuting each other. But then when we, when well, Mark predominantly reviewed the footage, we just didn't know where it was gonna fit with us. We've told you that we go to auctions, but not auctions like that really. We tend to go to auctions that are farm sales, car boot sales. That's where we get our stuff from, not high end auctions. auctions. Yeah, I mean, thank you very much to Morphis, by the yeah, way, for letting you. us in. We're just sorry that we can't really do anything with it because I don't think it suits our maker market. Yeah, that's, that's it. essentially it. There was also then, off the back of doing the auction, we met this chap who was a collector. Uh, the chapel, let's have a little look. Are you in Montpellier then? No, no, I, I own a chapel. Oh, right. Oh, is it an antiques place? No, no, it's my house. Oh, right, right, <laughs> okay. What is this, so this stuff you're buying's for your house then? Yeah, yeah, I've, I've got a lot of, the, I've got a massive apothecary stuff. He started chatting to us and he's like, oh, you should come and have a look at my place. I've got this place and it's amazing. And yeah, and it is amazing. It's absolutely stunning. It I mean, is incredible the most place. ridiculous bed and breakfast you've ever seen. It's yeah. like a museum. Yeah. Because every room is themed it's just ridiculous. This is like I mean, it's like a dream. Room. Yeah, it's 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 like a dream. I mean, it's the most. Oh, it conjures such magic. I mean, I'm sure Mark in all this is going to cut to a few images. <laughs> You know, we've made a great friendship there, but it's just working out whether it's the kind of footage that a maker market might want to see. It's very interesting footage, but we just, again, we didn't know if we... Yeah, if it's sort of that film sort of really didn't make sense unless you made the uh, film about the auction. Yeah, because exactly. We decided so. that the auction didn't work, then this day didn't work either. And yeah, it's just been a <laughs> bit <laughs> sticky getting stuff out there because adding yeah. on to the fact that what we shot wasn't working, there's also the fact that we've been pretty busy. In an ideal world, me and Al would do Dirty Shed all the time. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, that just isn't feasible. So 
we're juggling other working lives and all kinds of other stuff. So we've both just been trying to make money and get to the point where we can spend a bit of time creating content that we know you guys are going to like because the last film that we made, this guy, the Maritime Land, just there over my shoulder. What We've done a lot of craziest films, that. Yeah, it went really well. Yeah, people seem to really like it. We've done a couple of. We, we talked about kind of. I think we'll have to turn it off because it'll probably be too bright. No. Um, we talked about kind of creating some brackets at the back here uh, just to hold it, and I, they came out really well. I really like them. How did you make them then? Uh, those are out of half inch plate. And they were kind of ground out and then they've been sanded and filed and then actually these were oil blacked. So basically they were quenched in oil and it's put this lovely black finish on. There's a little screw there and they kind of hold the wire where we wanted it to be hold. So I think we referred to that in the, um, in the film. I made three. One of them I drilled and it went off centre and I was like, oh, I can't look at that. So we've had to scrap it. But that one would move down. But yeah, finishes off the lamp. Another professional little element. Yeah, really good. We're really happy with that project. We're yeah. happy with it, the outcome of the product, and also with the film, because we tried something different, didn't we, with it being so long. So, like, yeah. 40 minutes, 40 about, minutes. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, we'd really like to hear what you thought about the length. We've also played with that film and turned it into lots of other little films that yeah. we then put on TikTok. Yeah, because we're on TikTok now. Yeah, we, we're tiktok yeah. I, I don't even know what it is, really. No, he doesn't. Because I'm too old. He's a Luddite. Oh! Al, do you TikTok? No! No, I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, should I? Uh, well, Why guess what? What, you TikTok? You are TikToking. Right now? Right now. How? Mm. With, with the movies and the things. Well, I'll be buggered. <gasps> Look at this! <sighs> We've had several things that have had big impacts on our subscribership uh, and one of them in a big way has been TikTok and I mean Mark in like what a week you got like three and a half thousand followers didn't you? Yeah it's mental. So um, yeah so we're pushing that we're also pushing Reddit we're on Reddit. Um, Juniper. You know those are things maybe you know you might want to dip into you might not but you know there's stuff we're doing in the background to try and kind of you know I don't know what so we build up subscribers media. and just yeah. build a bit of a following because we yeah. wouldn't be here without you guys, and you guys could help us out even more by, by yeah, recommending we, us to people. And by, whenever you see us, bring a bag, because there'll always be some rubbish for you to take away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, well, you know, we've got loads going on as of right now. I mean, we're in the process, as of this moment, of making a, another prison-style door. I think I'm going to have to let you out, young lady, because you've just been a bit of a pain in the ass. Get out of here! I don't get it! What's the time? It's not even for, it's not your dinner time. No, you can go out here. Come on. Um, um, yeah, so sorry. No, what we were talking about is uh, we are right at the moment in the middle of filming what is going to be quite, um, it's not going to be the throne, but it's going to be a decent project. It's probably going to make about three films, isn't it? Um, it's a how-to of making, and I'm sure Mark will be cutting over me now with beautiful images of the door at the pub. We're going to re we're going to make one of those uh, prison-style doors uh, for a client in Thornton in Bradford. Our first commission. Yeah, our kind of first commission, and um, y y yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. But again. It's because there's going to be time around it, there's going to be time to kind of develop ideas, to kind of throw ideas around and actually, you know, end up with something that the client's been, you know, through email and photos and stuff like that has been involved with and kind of, you know, along the way. Not necessarily stood over your shoulder when you're kind of machining up timber, but... That's not helpful. No, it? not really. It probably, you know, it might get sawdust in their eyes, but, um, yeah. Or so man glitter. A man glitter, as I call it, or some people call it. Yeah. And it's a grade two listed building, so that's quite... I like that because it's like going into a proper, you know, they, the, the house is so nice they've had to, well, the, the front and the facade is listed, mm -hmm. so you can't change that. And actually, they had to plan I've had to come it. to you for your archaic designs. Yeah, because no one's doing archaic <laughs> stuff. Yeah, but you know, we're looking forward to getting that in. Yeah, we? so we're right in the middle of that at the moment. Yeah. We've done two, two days. days of that. Um, Probably another two to go. Three. Two, maybe three, because you've got yeah. to fit it as well. So yeah, fit in we'll it. We'll see how those go. So yeah. Off the back of this Q&A, which we can get out quicker than a project just because of the amount of footage and yeah. how easy it is to cut. This will go out first, then we'll start putting the door out and then we've got loads of other little bits that we can start yeah. throwing in as well. And we're not making any promises anymore because... Well, we've been held hostage. Yeah, we were setting ourselves up for failure. And yeah. we're tired of failure. 
Yeah, we're tired of it. It's too familiar. Yeah. No. So, yeah. Another project that's ongoing at the moment, yeah. that is taking up a lot of time, is what's happening out the back of your house? Well, we um, we got planning permission like last year to build a uh, garage, uh, come kind of shed basically out there. So yeah, that's we're on with that at the moment. That's been this week's been really busy with that, and yeah, that's moving ahead. We've uh, taken the old garage down. There's a bit of footage of that. Waiting for who? Gary. Gary's coming along. So he's coming along to uh, basically massive machine and just forklift this out of here. This has got danger written all over it. Danger creations! <laughs> I've loved you, Garage. Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> Wave. Yeah, the dirty shed is. I mean, it's practically dirty, falling to pieces. It's yeah, just it's got mold right out of the roof. Crap and yeah, yeah. there's just stuff everywhere, and. Al's too lazy to clean it up, so we're just going to make a new shed instead. We're going to fill that with crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, because yeah. the new shed is going to be set up better, isn't it? You can actually it, yeah. be able to get all the machines you want out and have them in position all yeah. the time. Yeah, this is it. So, and then we'll just see. We'll see what happens. See what happens. What else have we got? We've yeah. got a bit of a road trip planned actually, which has probably come right out of left field there. But uh, but that should be quite cool because I think what we're going to try and do there is we're going to do a road trip, which we're going to try and bring you maybe in several parts, and yeah. we'll, we'll travel from here down to the south coast of England to see uh, Tim the engraver with the Henry Knott pistol. Um, hopefully have a look around his workshop, but maybe in travelling down and travelling back up we'll try and either get into some museums or get to some auctions or get to some like reclamation yards. And what we want to try and show people is maybe the state of where where things are, you know, what's out there, you know, what could we go and buy. The new arts and crafts. Era. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Try and hunt out some, you know, try and, you know, a couple of places I'm thinking of are Bristol. That market in Bristol, you could probably yeah. spend, a, you know, an, oh, I don't know, an entire day in there finding crazy stuff. So, yeah, we there's some cool stuff we'd like to show you. And we think that might be more on point, to use a really horrific term, um, than some of the stuff we've filmed for you recently that we've just had to shelve, basically. And yeah. you know what? We now feel a responsibility to kind of, I suppose, being essentially what we are, which is makers really. So if there's a maker's spin we can put on something, great. If it's really off kilter, we might include it. I mean, something that happened which is just absolutely crazy is when we met Ben from Crimson Guitars, isn't it? Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the new build. This is called Bob. Well, we're working on that one. Yeah. I've actually invested in paying an editor to put some fresh eyes on that one. So yeah. Hopefully he'll come back with something that we can eventually show YouTube. Yeah, so that's coming. I mean, that was a crazy thing. And we'll probably catch up with Ben if we do our road trip again, won't we? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, yeah. we'd love to make it up with other makers. So if yeah. you were uh, a maker out there and you're in the UK and you want to be part of our road trip, drop us a note. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to pop in and see you. Yeah, we you might know. see you, might not. Yeah. We might stand you up yeah. your rows. Or we might, do a, we might do a shed off. We might do, a, you know, a shed off. Papa Smurf loves his sheds. Should we lighten the tone? Yeah, okay, let's. We got some stuff that looks like balls out. Oh my God, have I marked for you? Uh, this one, oh my God. Ah, <laughs> oh, please make this happen. What is it? Nutsack rucksack. <laughs> oh, bang, look at that. <laughs> Woo! That is, that That's looks... the latest fashion on Yeah. <laughs> Forget that... Valentino and Lagerfeld. 
This is the new thing. You know, your mum hates this Porsche. <laughs> yeah, my mum's very anti the uh, she stuff that it. looks like balls, but yeah, some stuff does look like balls. It looks it's like just balls. fact, because yeah. John Albrecht sent us some beauties. Oh, the truck nuts. Yeah. Oh my God, they're hilarious as well. I'm, I I want a pair of those just to hang out the back of my car. We're going to make some, aren't we? Oh, we were talking about it. Yeah, we might make a pair of carved... Car, truck nuts. Yeah, kind of truck nuts for the car. One of our new uh, subscribers, Jamie Mullen, who's come to us via TikTok. TikTok, um, oh, yeah. He okay. asked if there was any way that he could purchase a piece of DSC memorabilia. Something that we've made that he could buy and he was worried that because Al's so goddamn talented that there would be a massive price tag attached. Wow. And Al's here to totally shatter that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been, we have, we have kind of wanted to, um, we have wanted to visit that. I mean, not from a perspective of sitting here and cashing in, more from a case of like, you know, if we did generate a bit of income, we could put it into the channel. Um, so yeah, we, we've been looking at those skull coasters. We've, we've moved that project along, haven't we? Um, I mean, to give you an idea, I mean, I think the pricing on the um, coasters, six of them, uh, without shipping will probably be about 35 pounds. So it's a profile now that we're using, but they'll be hand finished. Um, and then they'll probably be lacquered. We'll, we'll experiment with finishes kind of moving forward, but they'll probably end up having a, reason, a kind of a faint polish, I would imagine. Cool. Um, and then we also want to experiment with um, putting some felt on the back, a different process that someone so, mentioned to us. Six skull coasters in a nice leather pouch? Uh, you know, leather pouch, the leather is expensive. I mean, oh, a wooden uh, box? I mean, maybe 35 quid, it'll come in a pouch anyway, like a little pouch, but it won't be leather. Okay. Yeah. Six skull coasters in steel, backed in felt, in its nice little presentation bag, 35 pounds, Plus shipping and delivery. A lot they of our, a lot of our fan, a lot of <laughs> a lot of our fans are in America, and uh, you know shipping's a bit of a you know pain in the backside, isn't it? So yeah, it's it's the same for anywhere. Well, exactly, and this is it. It's a global world now, and people, yeah. I suppose, people pay stuff to people pay people to ship stuff to places. There are whole companies based on it. Are there? Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You've got to say goodbye. Oh crap! God. Hi, I've been Papa Smurf, and he's been Camera Boy. This has been Dirty Sheds. This has been amazing. Thank you. This is terrible. This is awful, yeah. Uh, come, on. <laughs> come on. What? I thought you were the last one on... <laughs> Show your face. <laughs> no, no, you can't do that. Oh, let's just check it, it's still recording. Oh, it better have been recording. Yeah, I think so, you better check oh. it. I want my hair back. I'm having that back. So, so we're going to do a bye away. bye dirty shed marauders. Yeah, bye bye dirty shed marauders. Thanks for joining us, and hopefully that's kind of explained a little bit of where we are and what we've been up to and why we haven't actually been on YouTube a great deal recently. It's not for the lack of trying. Stop talking now. Bye, I love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that works, <a> true. <laughs> oh. Morons.